If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our second Unrivaled AEW Series 1, 2, and 1 review, and today we are doing the two figures that I was probably most looking forward to outside of Kenny Omega, guys, and that has to be Matt and Nick Jackson. The Young Bucks have finally made their appearance here in full figure form. I am definitely excited for these. I mean, I see cloth goods, I see beautiful white attires, I see Matt and Nick Jackson, I'm a happy customer, you know what I'm saying? These figures look great. I'm I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what all these guys can do, how their super kick looks. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm invested. We can finally complete our Elite. So many years of customs, so many years of, of having to deal with different parts and building up and making different head sculpts and seeing, you know, Tyler Breeze head sculpts and Drew McIntyre head sculpts used as Nick and Matt Jackson. Those days are finally over. We have official Young Bucks, and I'm sure we're going to get some more in the future, but let's go ahead and dive in, guys. I love how they're doing their signature poses here inside the packaging. I think that looks fantastic. Of course, on the side, you do have their names, Matt and Nick Jackson here. AEW logo here, another image of the two guys here. Matt Jackson is number three. Nick Jackson is number four. On the back, you do get beautiful images here. I think it would have been really cool if we got to actually see the tag team championships here. Now, I know these are the triple A tag team championships, and they have not been AEW world tag team champions, but I think that still would have been really cool to see with these guys. But here you have both of their signatures. Rest of the figures in the wave, we did review Cody and Kenny yesterday, if you guys want to check those out. Out. Obviously, these figures are from Double or Nothing. On the other side, you do get an AEW logo, and then, of course, Matt and Nick Jackson on the front of the packaging. Gold strip top right here with the AEW logo, and uh, I still am in love with this packaging. I still think it looks beautiful, and I still want a mock set of these figures because of how beautiful they are. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack the Bucks of Youth out of their packaging. Super Kick Party! So here are the Bucks of Youth out of the packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell, I might say. Now, I will say that the Young Bucks are my favorite tag team in all of All Elite Wrestling, and I just, I, they're just so entertaining, man. I mean, I know a lot of people say they don't sell enough, or a lot of people say their matches are a little bit too choreographed or really over-the-top spots. You know, sometimes it's like they have to depend too much on the other person to pull off a spot, and you know, it's kind of waiting sometimes. And I, tell, I totally understand that. I can totally see where you're coming from, but they're just super entertaining, man. They know how to put on a damn good match. I love their move sets and they're just super entertaining man anytime i watch a young bucks match i'm fully locked into it and I, I appreciate them very much and i just love them so having them here in unrivaled form is very excellent and i cannot wait to add them into the collection right here today get a closer look and see what these guys are all about now they are a tag team and their accessories are pretty much the same guys so we're going to do things a little bit differently today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at their accessories together first then we're going to take a look at one of them and then the other back to back and kind of just do everything together per say because I mean they've been doing everything together their whole lives. So with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into the Young Bucks accessories and then we will take a closer look at Matt and Nick Jackson themselves. Alright guys, so for their accessories, they do come with the exact same accessory. You get a Young Bucks Elvis inspired cloth white entrance jacket, and I think these are fan-freaking-tastic. Now, we're going to get into all the things, but these are Elvis inspired. I'm pretty sure that was the inspiration behind their attires here. They were in Las Vegas for double or nothing. I think it fits the theme, but these jackets are immaculate. You guys will see what they look like out of the packaging in the jackets later on in the video, but these jackets are just so nice. Now, on the back here, it is a little bit flat red. Like, it's not like you get like some shimmer and stuff going on. These are printed on here, but I don't think that's a huge deal because this piece right here, I mean, I don't know how they did it. Like, this just feels super high quality. It's got Velcro on the front, so if you guys want to put it on and then Velcro in the front here, you got this like sparkly collar that does have sparkles on it. It's got their little tassels coming off that are shimmery in the back here. You have this little back flap that does say Young Bucks, and you know, when they're walking, doing their thing, it is connected right here on the sleeve so when they you know do their entrance pose on the back it will spread out and say young bucks and you got all the tassels 
castles coming down. So that is really awesome. I think this is super high quality, man. I hope we get more stuff like this. We do know the Chase variant Cody figure from Series 1 does have that entrance jacket or entrance vest with Cody. That is also cloth. We've seen a little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho t-shirt, which I think is super high quality as well. It feels really good in the hand. Fits the figure well. So this is just the beginning of some things that we can, uh, you know, expect to see from Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares getting into our AEW figures. This is just immaculate, man. This is great. I think this is a very high quality piece. It feels really good in the hand. And uh, you get two of these if you have both bucks. So one comes with Matt, one comes with Nick. They do not have interchangeable hands, but I do have a way around that. If you guys are wondering, I, I have a way to get around any of those issues, but I'll get into that later on, guys. But now that we've covered the Young Bucks accessories, let's dive into Matt and Nick Jackson themselves. All right, guys, so I guess we can start off first with Matt Jackson. And getting into this head sculpt, man, I mean, this is, this is Matt Jackson, okay? This is Matt Jackson. I think they captured the likeness beautifully. I think they did a really good job here. Uh, I, I think that even in time, they're going to get even better here. But he does have his signature mutton chops here. I like the facial expression. I like the hair color. I think the likeness is totally there for Matt. And uh, I, I think it looks great, man. Ponytail looks great. I think they did a really good job on this head sculpt. I don't have any issues with the head sculpt. And I think that looks good. Now, coming down into the torso. I think this is the Cody Rhodes torso, if I'm not mistaken. I'll, we'll do a comparison shot when we look at all the figures next to each other, but I'm pretty sure this is the same Cody Rhodes torso we got, and it may even be the same arms as well. We'll just have to see about that. You know, I'm still learning the uh, the molds and the parts choices and stuff like that, and I know that I will uh, get better at that and continue to learn what parts are what and, you know, what comes on what figures, just like I know all the elite parts now with Mattel. I'll do the same thing eventually with these, but you get white wrist tape. You do get two fisted hands with both of them. That is for their entrance pose and, you know, doing their signature poses. But uh, I have a way to get around this. If you guys want to know, I'll show you guys very soon. But going down into the crotch piece, we do have a black belt here. You get some gold speckling designs on the white pants. And you guys know that white is my favorite color. And I love white attires. So this is a very fantastic attire. I love the white and the silver going down. You got these tassels going down. That is sculpted on, which I think works perfectly. Going down into the bottom, you do get the gold and red. More gold speckling. And you do get the black shoes right there or black boots which do look like their boots which is kind of crazy. Now on this figure it's not you know the most detailed thing but I still like it a lot and with the entrance jacket and the nice head sculpt I think it totally works out perfect. So there is Matt Jackson and then now we're going to move on to Nick Jackson guys who is pretty much in the exact same attire. They do have their discrepancies and uh, starting off with Nick Jackson's head sculpt I know it's either going to be one of those things where you either hate this head sculpt or you think it's okay. I think the likeness to Nick Jackson is totally there. You know uh, I hate that, you know, one of them is making like a solemn face and the other one is kind of pissed off and growling. So uh, I think I would have preferred, you know, Nick doing the same thing as Matt, maybe just either just doing a smirk or uh, even just a straight face would have been really cool. But this is not the only Nick Jackson we're going to get. So I know we are going to get more Nick Jacksons and Matt Jacksons in the future, more Young Buck figures that will probably look better than this. And I'm sure they'll get better with time, better head sculpts and stuff. So if you guys ever want to do a head swap or something, you'll be able to just pop it off and put on a new head sculpt or torso or something and uh, switch that out to, you know, make a cool fix up and stuff. I, that, that's something I'm really looking forward to. I'm actually very interested to see if we end up getting any basic figures or battle packs or anything like that uh, where we can do those fix ups and customs and stuff like that. So we'll just have to see. But there's your Nick Jackson head sculpt. I am noticing on the red headband, it does not have the zebra print like sparkles, which isn't a huge deal. You know, I, I'm not going to deduct any football points. It would have been cool to see on there and stuff. And maybe you could even paint it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to get too big into it. Going down to the hair, the hair is a soft material right there and I think the headband's even soft so I think you could remove this whole top of his head cap if you wanted to but I definitely see Nick Jackson in the head sculpt. It's just not my favorite expression if you will. Going down to the torso guys he has the exact same torso mold as his brother Matt so that looks pretty good there. He also has white wrist tape just like Matt except for the right hand does not have hand tape and then the only really difference I can find in these figures are the belts. Nick Jackson has the white belt and Matt Jackson has the black belt and uh, they have the same exact molds and everything like that. Same little sparkle designs, silver and uh, gold on there, and uh, these are looking pretty banger, man. I'm pretty excited for them. But now that we have taken a closer look at the figures themselves, guys, let's dive into some Young Buck figure comparisons. So for your Young Buck figure comparisons, guys, we do have my custom Elite Mattel Young Bucks that I've been using forever. I think in my lifetime I've made three or four different combinations of the Young Bucks to use in, you know, my collection, on my display, for my pick fed and stuff like that. These are the most recent Hell's Gate attires made with their pink and black attires that they rocked against the white 
Riot Colt, and I think they've held up over time, man. I mean, these things have been wonderful placeholders for me, and they hold a special place in my heart and my collection because they have done a really good job. I mean, I got the mutton chops on the mat. I think the mat, you know, held held up for its time, and then the Nick as well. I mean, I, I, I liked them both, man. I don't care. Uh, you know, it may not look exactly like them, but I think it's close enough, you know, especially for pick-fed purposes. I think they have definitely held up over time, and I like, you know, my head sculpt choices over a Bo Dallas or a Tyler Breeze that I've seen other people use. I think uh, I have liked my combination the best overall, but you know, it is time to retire these guys, and I am absolutely going to look forward to using these Young Bucks in the pick-fed, seeing how much they can pose and stuff like that. That is going to be super exciting, and I cannot wait to see other pick-fedders do the same thing. It is just so surreal to finally have official figures of the Young Bucks in this capacity with this type of articulation, this scale. It is amazing, but I am happy to see the MDT Tag Team Champions in this Mattel Elite form finally get to retire and find a different place in my collection. And for your other Young Buck figure comparisons, guys, here are the rest of the figures in the wave that we've already reviewed. You have Kenny Omega, the MDT Elite Champion, and then the MDT Iron Man Champion, Cody Rhodes. And I do believe these are the exact same torso for Matt, Nick, and Cody, which, you know, I think I would probably use a bigger torso or a more ripped torso for Cody, probably, but I don't think it's a huge deal. I think this is probably going to be your more standard torso for leaner, smaller guys or guys around this size. So that's probably what we'll end up getting with. But if you guys want to know how you can get some mic holding hands onto these guys, one thing you can do for Matt Jackson and his right hand is you can replace his right hand with the Cody Rhodes hand right here. And if you guys want to do uh, one of their other hands, the bare hands, you could use your little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho hand, or you could use the left hand of the Cody. However, I am just now noticing this, but I guess Cody and Brandy have ring finger tattoos because this Cody figure has a tattoo on his left finger right here that I just now noticed. And that's a pretty cool detail that I totally missed in the review. So that is pretty cool right there. But if you guys want these guys to have mic holding hands, that would probably be the best way to do so. And one thing we have to do, right? I mean, we can't just sit here and have the MDT Tag Team Champions without their MDT Tag Team Championship. So I am going to go ahead and plant the tag titles on these guys and see what they look like before we proceed into the articulation standpoint of the video. And then we are totally going to put these jackets on them and uh, show you guys what those look like and how they articulate with the jacket on as well. So here is the Bullet Club on MDT Vindication. Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, and Cody Rhodes all with their championships. Marty Scurll was indefinitely suspended recently on MDT, so this will be our Bullet Club faction moving forward on Vindication with all of their championships. So getting into the articulation, I am going to use Matt Jackson because they pretty much have the exact same articulation except for the head sculpt. So if you guys want to see Nick Jackson's, he can't go back that far because of the haircut, but he can look all the way down. So if you guys wanted to know that, there you go. Now getting into Matt Jackson, who probably has a little bit more head pivoting or head movement, he can look back a little bit more. He can look down the same. Doesn't have really much of a, a neck pivot or anything like that. Can't really shift that much, but it can look down pretty good. It can look left and right, obviously. Shoulders still have the rack joints. You get the diving headbutt pose there. They can rotate all the way around. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get the double jointed elbows there so he can punch himself in the face. With this torso, you pretty much get the exact same articulation as we got with Cody. So he can bend over all the way there, which is very beautiful to see. You love to see that. And he can lean back very far as well. Now on these guys, it's the same waist articulation where you can turn it. It gets tighter as it turns and you can spin him all the way around. But when you spin it all the way around, you do risk uh, popping the torso off, but it can look all the way around if you need it to. So he does have waist swivel. He does have upper thigh cut. He is on ball joints here, so he can do the splitsies. Double jointed knees, which are very, very nice. He does not have like a boot cut right here, so you cannot rotate this at the lower part, which isn't the biggest deal because, you know, they have longer pants. Usually longer pants figures don't have a little boot cut right here, and it would look awkward if you were to articulate that, so I am glad they decided to do that. The feet can move a little bit. They don't have like a ton of ankle pivot because it runs into there, but there is a little bit there, and it can, it can point down a little bit, and it can go up a little bit. Now, as far as your super kick posing, I'm sure that you guys are going to want to know what a super kick pose looks like. So getting him into a super kick pose real quick so you guys can see what this looks like. So there's your good super kick pose. If you guys were wondering, Matt Jackson super kicking the old custom elite WWE Mattel Matt Jackson. And then my boy Fig Photos was wanting to see if the Young Bucks could do a package pile driver. This is probably the best pose you can get, and this wasn't like a ton of time spent on it, but I figured I'd put this in the video to show you guys off. Excellent articulation, man. This, this is going to make for excellent pick fetting. I cannot wait, man. Stop motion and pick fetting is going to be ridiculous with these, and I, I love this. I think this works out perfect. If I spend a little more time on it, could probably do a little bit better, but for the most part, the way that the neck tucks in and the ab crunch and everything like that, I think this is excellent. And then in their jackets, guys, they 
don't really hinder articulation whatsoever. I mean, you can still bend these elbows completely. I mean, you can do all the poses that you want to get them in. The shoulders don't have any problems here. Uh, these jackets are absolutely beautiful, man. Like, they, they are absolutely beautiful. If you need them to cut a promo, they can still pull the mic all the way up to their face. You know, it's not completely here where it's going to stay, but it totally, it, like, free range of motion, they can do everything they need with these jackets on. They do not hinder articulation, and these are absolutely beautiful, and I don't know if we covered it, but they do have the YB on the front right there. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the 2-in-1 Young Bucks Matt and Nick Jackson Unrivaled Collection Series 1 review. Absolutely fantastic figures. I love these. I think these are just un undoubtedly a pickup. These are a must-cop. These are a definite must-cop. They just if, if you're as big of a fan as the Young Bucks as I am, if you're a Young Bucks fan, it's a no-brainer, bro. Like, absolutely. I'm going to be picking up multiples of these guys for customs and different attires and stuff for the future for sure. I mean, these jackets it's a loner worth the pickup. You, of course, won't get the beautiful MDT Tag Team Championships, but both of these guys are immaculate. And right now, I think these two are probably my favorite in the set thus far. But if you guys would like to pick up any of the AEW figures from this video, if you guys want to go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, go to wrestlingfigures.com, use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Absolute banger of figures so far. I think Series 1 is on back order, so you may have to wait a little bit for these Series 1 figures, but Series 2 with MJF, Adam Hangman Page, Dustin Rose, the Lucha Brothers and John Moxley are all up for pre-order over there. So definitely go check that out. Pre-order those figures, guys, because you know Walmart and their distribution and stuff like that. We don't know when these figures are going to officially hit Walmart. Unless you're in Texas or the top northeast, I don't think your Walmarts are going to get these within the next few days. They could be hitting any day now, but I am hearing the 12th most likely. So definitely go get your pre-order in, guys. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself some money and get in on all the epic action figures they got over there. But anyways, guys, that is going to do for this two-in-one review. Again, love the figures, absolutely. They are fantastic. I'm going to get the hell out of here. In the next video, we are going to not only be reviewing Chris Jericho and Brandy Rose, guys, but we are also going to be ranking AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1 from worst to best, so you definitely want to check that out. If you guys missed Kenny and Cody's review, definitely go check that out on the channel as well. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.